Okay, here we are on board Neutrogena. This is our, uh, this is one week's food bag, about a meter long by uh, 50 by 50. When they're full, they weigh 25 kilos. This is one day's worth of food. We've got uh, some Leofal, some uh, freeze-dried food. We've got beef jerky. We've got uh, mixed nuts. Boris's favorite uh, freeze-dried desserts. Today's a pasta day, mmm. So we have enough pasta for the two of us with a can of fish to put in it, sardines or whatever. Um, cliff bars and uh, some pasta sauce, which is already in the kitchen. So uh, cooking pasta is very simple here. <clears throat> pasta goes in the pan, no worries there. It's a very tiny pressure cooker or cocotte minute la comme c'est en France. Um, the first uh, hose is with um, salt water. It's like uh, half salt water and half fresh water. That way you don't use so much fresh water and the pasta is already salted. Um, I'm not sure what other minerals or hydrocarbons you get with that, but I'm sure it's good stuff. And then, uh, see, this is an art form for Boris. He's been cooking pasta like this since his last trip around the world on the 40-footer as well. He likes his food so salty that it tastes like you're just licking straight out of the can of salt. And then uh, the always difficult getting the stove lit without burning the shit out of your hands. On to boil and then, uh, well I don't know, five or six minutes later that's done. Um, in the meantime, the rest of our kitchen is uh, a very simple affair. We've got uh, the obligatory fire extinguisher, which every good kitchen should have. Our pasta sauce is in these little uh, little plastic tubes, which are uh, super, super good pasta sauce. So. Jesus, it's windy. It's plenty of wind outside, and it's getting a little wet inside the boat even. <clears throat> On one side of the kitchen down here, while Boris pours the sauce into the pan, we've got uh, all, this, all the snacks that we just mentioned, plus we have... Um, a thing of freeze-dried Conte cheese, which um, looks absolutely terrible at this point, but when you open the bag, it's fine. You can eat it. We also have Lomo, which is uh, Spanish cured uh, pork tenderloin with a little bit of spice, uh, slightly like chorizo, but a lot less spicy and uh, very good. We have uh, Hamel from Spain, Spain, and uh, that's about it. So yeah, we use the uh, we use the sail making scissors to get into every one of the uh, little packages rather than trying to rip them open every time with cold wet hands. It's a lot easier just to try to cut yourself every time you open a package. And uh, Boris gets to make sure everything's good out of each package before we get any. <clears throat> the only thing that we do uh, have on this boat is uh, a lot of tiny plastic bags which get put into the trash bag and. Uh, that bag gets put into the bow of the boat uh, up inside the watertight compartment and when we finish the uh, the race it all goes into the recycling bin. Anyway, that's uh, that's our kitchen. We have uh, we have a few spices as well. This is uh, something very special. This is um, what we normally eat with our pasta. This comes from uh, the Bella Italia restaurant in Concarneau. It's uh, made by Gino's mama. It's, uh, it's Italian cayenne uh, dry hot pepper sauce and it's excellent. We eat it every day with our pasta. Thank you very much, Gino. Merci beaucoup, Gino. Boris, anything else to add? Yeah, the typical question. How much uh, shall I put in already? The <laughs> yeah, Boris has become the cuisinier here, the big chef. And uh, he, he even seasons the food before I get it. Most of the time, if, uh, if Boris didn't make food, I wouldn't bother eating. And so uh, he's taken upon himself to, uh, to always make food which is very nice for me um, and yeah he, he makes the decisions about how much cheese I get and everything else at this point so there we go a day in the life <laughs>